Hello, you continue Revit tutorials with Beam Add-in. We have several villas here in this Revit file and for all of them it's necessary to make a construction project which contains a lot of information. All that information loads and slow down the computer. Now the question arises. Should we do everything in one Revit file or should we do each building, in this case a house? In a separate file and later just for the site plan link all the files into one main model. Especially if you are doing projects that are 10 or hundreds of thousands of square meters, it is more difficult to work on such project if all elements are in one single file. There are also some technical problems such as the zero ground floor levels. Uh, personally, I prefer to split the files and link them later into the main file. So I will show you a, a simple way to save the file separately. And when you insert them into the main file, they will came exactly to the place you want them without manually moving them because manually moving large files can be very slow and that can cause some problems if you have deadlines. It can also affect your mood and your psychological health. So you, maybe you already have experience when you move, for example, when you move like this, the uh, file and it won't turn you must waiting uh, some time to uh, make a move into the project. So if you want to avoid that, uh, I will show you, uh, you can separate files and I will show you a simple method how to do that. Yes, but for all those who want to do everything in one file, I would like to show you a few simple solutions to technical problems. For example, how to create levels and spot elevations for each house that show the ground floor zero and show the other levels of that house in relation to that ground floor zero. For example, here we have, uh, uh, if we select this villa as example, when we go to ground floor, as you can see, my uh, computer is already slowing down. Uh, this zero for ground floor, we want to be on other house uh, the same the same spot elevation that will show the zero for the other houses. Now that can be a problem when you do everything in the in the same in the same in one single file. But I will show you the method, and we can start the method for that solution is. Uh, to create different families and in those families you can add formulas that will calculate zero for other houses. Uh, now you need to see this value here and you will calculate uh, in the formula you will add that value for other houses and uh, you need to calculate the difference between this for example this house will be the reference house for other houses and you will add this value uh, into the formula so you will calculate the zeros for other houses. The same solution is for the uh, level family tags. Uh, just to open the section, for example, this section here. All right. Here you have zero and you need to create different family, uh, different families with formulas where you will calculate the zeros for other houses. And in those houses, you will use a different type of the levels. You can rename it and use it. For example, if it's Villa 1, Villa 2, Villa 3, you will use the levels 1, 2, 3 
Villa 1, Villa 2, Villa 3. Or, or you can uh, choose your own method for selecting the different uh, levels with different families. All right. Uh, if you want, uh, you can find the tutorial about that on my YouTube channel and you can see there how to create a, uh, such, a, such a family for level, for level parts here. You will go to edit type and from here you will choose these sim uh, symbols for levels. All right, the same is with these with these uh, spot elevations or sections. When you create the family symbol uh, and add the formula to calculate the zero, you can select it from, from here. Uh, just to remind one more time, uh, on my YouTube channel, you have the tutorial on that topic. All right, now I will show you the method I will show you the method how to how to save uh, how to save these houses as a separate file so when you insert them later or reload them later uh, they will came into the same into the same position just one thing you, what you must be uh, what you must watch off and be careful when you make changes on that on that separately uh, save files you uh, must be careful to when you want to make changes to the uh, to that ground floor element you must be careful when you want to move it horizontally or vertically it will affect the position of the house into the main model all right let's start now uh, first you need to create topography and you, in conceptual design, you need to position the ground floor and you need to add the level for that ground floor because that will be zero for that house. Uh, for, every, for every other house, you uh, must do the same method. Just uh, to repeat one more time. First, you need to create topography. In conceptual design, you need to position the house or the ground floor of the house on the topography, you need to add the level into the section uh, with a name for that house. And later when you do the same for all other houses, you need to save one by one uh, as much files as houses you have here. All right, now I have one, two, three, four, and for example, for this one, I will go to File and I will save it, save as Project. All right, I will go to Linked Files. I already did this, but just I will save one, one uh, Villa, it will be Villa number one. As, a, as an example, I will save this one only. All right, and I will save it. So this will be the Villa, Villa 1. This will be Villa 2. I will save one more uh, file as an example for the Villa 2. All right. It will be Villa 2, number 2. Okay. Okay, now uh, I saved Villa 1 and Villa 2 as an example. And now this is Villa 2, uh, separate file. And I will delete everything from this file beside this floor uh, family here. I will leave it only. So later when we insert this uh, project into the main model, it will came into the same position without uh, moving it uh, manually. All right, I will 
turn off the section box so I can delete every element here only uh, the ground floor level and the ground floor the ground floor family will, will leave uh, because this will be the zero ground floor uh, elevation for this house all right and now I will save it one more time uh, the same method must be done for all other houses and later when we insert them you can continue to work on that separate files and when you finish your house uh, when you insert it into the when you go to insert uh, uh, Revit link and when you select the house one two or three it will came into the same position exact exactly in the same position where you wanted it to be big, uh, without without any manually moving so, as you know when you move the large projects it can be very slow uh, it can be very slow all right now just to show you uh, i will i will reload I will unload first all these houses. You see, now only only the floor, ground floor uh, elements left. So when we insert on or when we reload these link files, they will appear into the same position in the exact position where we want it to be you see this villa house is on the exact position now we will do the same for the other villas i will reload villa 2 Alright, this is Villa 2, and now I will reload the Villa 3, sorry, Villa 1. Okay, you see. And with this method, we avoid many problems such as uh, such as uh, slowing down computer, uh, some technical problems as it ground floor zeros, uh, quantities of the materials, uh, um, areas, and many other problems we will avoid by using the method of uh, separate files and link them later into the main model for uh, site for site plan and for uh, other other uh, drawings where we want to see all the all the houses together okay now you see from here this is our site plan and uh, that's it dear friends if you have any suggestion or any question if you have different experience with uh, working with this project for example you can use this method if you work on a very large project for example i worked on the project where we have uh, where we had a very long uh, there was a very long building uh, 100 meters uh, and uh, 25 meters it was very big project and i separated into the two and used the same method or we did the project where we had uh, 10 blocks uh, with uh, with levels between 7 and 12 and we as a team se work separately on projects and later link them into one main model especially if you are working uh, in a teamwork and you use collaboration uh, you can work separately in the different blocks and later insert them into the into the main model. 
And dear friends, this is all for this tutorial. As I said, if you have any questions and you have different experience working with, with different, uh, with separate models and link them later in the main model, if you have different experience, please share your experience with us in the comments and please don't forget to subscribe and share my works with your friends and colleagues. See you in the next tutorial.